Hi guys, Vesti here, Venice Speaks Tech. Another exciting video from the world of GCAM, our Nova GCAM 7.3. For the OnePlus 7 Pro, it probably will also run on other Snapdragon 855 phones. Right now, that's what I want to show you guys. If you want to learn more, see the installation and see all the new features, stay throughout the whole video. I will not tell you to subscribe to my channel and I will even not tell you to like the video because I know that you know what to do best. All right, so let's start. Step one. Are you ready for step one? You know that I always advise to deinstall the previous version. Now, right now, I don't use any other 7.3 GCAM, so that's why I already installed the Arnova, but I'm gonna do this with you so you know the whole process. So usually the way it goes, you press up info, you go to force stop here, press OK, you go to storage and cache, then you press clear storage, you press the OK button, then you go back and then you have to hit the uninstall button, snap like Thanos in the Avengers. All right, now it's gone, go to downloads. I'm gonna be putting the link down below to the Gcam 7.3 by Arnova. Okay, it's here, not installed. Press on this, do you want to install the application? Press install and in some seconds the magic of Google camera will enlighten your phone and will bring happiness in your gray life so you can take pictures and make your life not so gray. Look directly into the center of your screen. All right, up installed, okay. I'm gonna put it down below here. Running it for the first time, so press okay. Allow, allow only when using the app, allow, allow, and boom, here it is, guys. So go directly to settings. You know what I tell you here, usually I show you the version, so learn more that I show to you that I'm not kidding, and boom, here we have Gcam mod, all right? It's based on Google Camera 7.3. Very big thanks to Arnova. He has been since the beginning of the Gcam mod scene, so very big thanks to Arnova. But not only to Arnova, to everybody here. You can see Yurnix, you can see Sanit, you can see Savitar, SD, Manzor, and all those great guys that make this thing happen and put the Google camera in our hands without having to spend a thousand money for the Pixel, guys. All right, now, guys, settings, save location on camera sounds, remove if you want Google Lens suggestions, framing hints, self, selfie as previewed, social share, you know, I don't like this one, so I disabled that one, gestures, Grid type, I go for three by three, frequent faces. Here, that is one of the newest things from Google Camera 7.3. Do not disturb access needed, guys. So you need to press on that one here and just let allow access for Google Camera. Press like this, all right? Now, every time you're gonna make a video with Google Camera, Google Camera will make sure that you will not get disturbed by any notification. And believe it or not, this happens to me all the time. All right, now, I'm going to live test this, so I have the phone here, I press the record option and here in my other hand I have the other phone and I'm gonna write a message to myself guys. So let's see how this works, blah 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 blah, let's try to send it, wait, okay, you see, notification has been suppressed, so let's try to do another one, Jesus Christ, it doesn't work, but you see, I'm getting it on the screen, that didn't work well, now guys, you saw what happened. This feature is still not well implemented. I tested it on the Pixel 3 XL as well. It didn't work. It didn't work as well on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And now what's more interesting, when I go back in Google Camera, I even cannot see this from the menu, guys. So usually you know what I, I can do. I can go and clear the cache and then do all the settings, but it will not work again. So, all right, for some weird reason, this option to be not disturbed doesn't really work. But in the video option, there's, there's but in the video option, there are some new things. So apparently if you are shooting full HD video now, you can choose the FPS or the frame rate per second. So you can go between 24, 30 and 60 frames, guys. So usually when I shoot my videos, I always use 60 FPS to just have like a more smooth motion in the video. 30 is kind of the standard. 24 frames is a very cool feature. It gives the whole picture a more cinematic experience. This is usually, you know, what we see in the movies, guys. And, you know, people use this uh, 24 FPS to shoot weddings and to make events look a little bit more cinematic, no more dramatic. 30 and 60 is, I think 60 is better really for sports events and, and stuff like this. And when I do shoot my video footage, I always use 60 because then, you know, we can downscale if you want, go lower or slow down the whole motion. Now, something very important, 24 FPS. When I choose these guys and I try to make a video, boom, it doesn't work again, all right? So I've been testing this before. Now, when I restart the camera and I go back to video, 
you see the whole video mode is gone so what you need to do is close the google camera rerun it again so 24 fps said it doesn't work for me but the 30 fps does work so let's shoot a video on 30 okay you can see 30 is quite good and you can also go to 60 fps this also is an option 60 fps is also working quite nice now a lot of you have been asking me what are the differences between the gcam 7.3 because obviously it does look pretty much the same and um, there are only some subtle interface differences when you go to camera and you press here you see that the flash menu has been brought on top i think in 7.3 it was a little bit down but guys i think that the main differences are not really something that you can go and see on the menu i have been told that there are some new lips used and that you know it kind of should be processing photos faster it's using some new denoise models so a lot of the differences are not really very visible to us the users but hopefully they're gonna bring a new much better say faster experience so i'm gonna do some pics to just see how well it works uh, for that one here i'm going to go and just choose an hdr so let's do a nice photo hdr only Okay, you see, very, very quick indeed. Colors are always very, very nice. Nice saturation, white balance seems to be okay. And I'm not even using the HDR Plus mode, so let's go and choose the HDR Plus. Same photo again, boom. Very nice photo again. Nice, consistent results, you see. I like the way the picture looks like. They're a little bit cooled down in terms of white balance, which means that they're not, you know, so vivid, but still it looks very realistic. Going back to settings, just let's see what our settings we have here. Video, ultra high video resolution, 4K, you can choose this all. Advanced for photos, you can go and choose HDR control. RAW and JPEG, guys, don't go for that option. The RAW doesn't work in GCAM 7. If you want to shoot RAW photo with a Google camera, you need to say two versions, 6.2 probably. Store videos efficiently. This one is a nice option. Turn it on if you want to shoot with the H265. And you know that actually the OnePlus 7 cost of camera cannot shoot in H265, so it's good now that the Google camera can do 60 FPS videos with H265, but only on full HD resolution. Going back to the Google camera, what we can do right now, guys, is just shoot some pics, you know, with 7.2 and 7.3 and see if there are gonna be any differences. Isn't this so much fun? So stay tuned, I'm about to do that. For the sake of the test, I'm gonna be using the latest Unix Gcam, which I think is now 7.2 version, 2.2, all right, so going to settings, info, right now we see here we have the Gcam 7.2 by Ernix version 2.2. I'm gonna keep things very much straightforward, so we have HDR Plus on 15 frames for the HDR Plus hand, so let's do a photo like this, okay, okay. Now guys, let's do the same photo with the Google Camera 7.3, okay, here are how both photo compares. I think they look very much identical. What do you think, guys? What do you like more? Another test sample now. I'm using the 7.2 camera. Again, only HDR plus. 7 Pro. Okay, and now I'm going for the Gcam 7.3, trying to shoot the same photo. Okay, and this is how both photo compares. What do you think, guys? Is the left one better than the right one? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. For this one last test guys, I'm gonna go to Asia Plus, so now I'm using the 7.2, okay, it's like this, all right, and now I'm going to the Google camera, 7.3, and also switching here to Asia Plus, it was already in Asia Plus, okay, all right guys, what do you think, this is how the both result looks like, now my view is that of course, the results are very, very much identical, guys. And I told you, the 7.3 is supposed to use newer lips, so they promise to have faster processing. Right now, of course, we cannot compare this because what we see here is that on Google Camera 7.2, we can adjust the frame for the HDR Enhanced. I'm just gonna show you, like here, Advanced. And then we have HDR Plus Enhanced frames. We have a low mode, which is nine frames, medium 15 frames and high 25 frames. In the Google Camera 7.3, we don't have that option yet, so probably, you know, it uses something uh, between 9 and 15. But at the end of the day, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this new camera. It is very stable. If you want to go and test it out there, please do so. Again, the link is in the video description. Please download it. Let me know what you think. 
I hope you enjoyed this video guys, it was a quick video from my side to give you an update and the power of GCAM 703, again big thanks go to Arnova and all the motors out there. Have a very nice weekend from me, VST, over and bye.